People, 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 welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of, of course, the Arsenio Buck Show. You already know who it is, Arsenio Buck, not reporting live from Bangkok, man. Guys, welcome back to another episode, episode number 13 of the Bramble of Positivity. Man, this is, I just gotta go out there and just say thank you all. Thank you, my Slovakians, my Filipinos. My Australians, my Indians, my Spaniards, my Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Stanny, Kirk, Kirk, yeah, Kirk Stanians, Kirk Stan, Stanians, I don't know. My Swiss, my Iranians, my, uh, Americans, uh, Bangkokians, uh, Bangkokians, I guess you could say. My folks out there in Taipei, uh, Sweden, Norway, Malaysia. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I'm just so grateful. That my voice is being heard all around the world. Like, you guys who are tuning in from these countries are literally tuning in to me uh, in hopes of either gaining knowledge or in hopes of uh, uh, trying to implement something into your life that could actually work for you. Um, You guys actually believe in me. And you know what? It's amazing. I never thought that my podcast would really turn into something of a spectacle. And, of course, the last two weeks, it literally... Its minimum has just gone all the way up to its maximum, and now the maximum's up to, like, the higher... Oh, it's just amazing. And it's not just only that. It's the fact that I'm able to literally connect with people from all over the world. Like, I never thought in a million years people from these countries would be listening to me. Of course, I thought I would always travel to the Switzerland and Norway, Cyprus, Estonia, Georgia, all these places. But I never thought that people would routinely listen to me all the way from Long Beach, California up to Skarpnak, Sweden all the way down to, of course, Bangkok into Indonesia, Bali Papua New Guinea, Maldives uh, Australia near Melbourne, I mean it's just amazing and that's why I just have to give a warm shout out to all of you who are listening to me all around the world and of course of going into one of the most successful years of my life. You know what's crazy, man? Let's get back into the New Year's resolution. It's going to be a little bit of ramble, but you know what? I'm a, I'm really grateful for everything that's just taken place. Uh, the New Year's resolution. Guys, how are your New Year's resolutions going? I remember at the beginning of this year, I don't know what the podcast was, but I remember saying, man, guys, don't create a New Year's resolution. Live a life that you've always dreamed of. And a lot of people are like, well, what am I supposed to dream of? That's the question. Start answering the questions. And the answers will begin to come. And so I remember at the beginning of this year, I said, you know what, 2017, a lot of people, it's so funny because on Instagram people are posting, oh, 2017 is going to be my bitch. Seriously, next thing you know, eight months in and you hate your life. Come on, guys, wake the hell up. This 2017 has to be the best year by far of my life. The last stagnant year I've actually had in terms of development, had to be 2010. That was a, that was just a whack year. I know, I remember, you know, graduated from dental assistant in a real short-term course and whatnot just to get my associate, uh, not associates, but uh, what is it, my uh, dental assistant certificate so I could actually work in Australia for a year. That was all wonderful, but the later half, working for, uh, you know, a wonderful business owner, of course, in Dr. Delau. I don't know if they actually hear me and listen to me anymore out there in Beverly Hills, but... um. Being able to work for him, but being able to work for you, know, not being able, well, uh, forgettably working for the most pompous, pathetic dentist on the planet. Oh my god. Anyways, 2011 being a massive surge. 2012, but you know what? 2012, I moved back to America, but that's that was a life defining year. That year, I brought wonderful folks into my life. I did great things. Uh, I didn't do any competitions per se. But I met some wonderful folks at the College of Southern Nevada, all this stuff, up until I actually moved here to Thailand. And, of course, it's living in Thailand. Every year is crazy. 2013, it was demonic. You know, that's what I'm writing in my book because um, when I first came here to Thailand, it wasn't all just sunshine and, hey, beaches and Thai people are wonderful. Uh Uh-uh, reality hit me, and there it was. The, the the biggest figure I've ever seen in my life in terms of racism, but it's always been on an incline. Yes, 2014 was one of the most difficult years of my life, 
but it was still more exciting than that 2010. Now, 2009 was a beautiful year because I actually traveled outside. Well, it was actually a horrendous year in the beginning turned wonderful year, but I've just been on a massive surge. See, last year alone, of course, 2015, I was able to travel to Australia, went there for about six days, came back uh, in 2015. 2016, just last year, hey, I went to Vietnam. I went to Bali. I think those are my two internet. Well, yeah, I went to Malaysia for a visa and whatnot, but I went to three separate countries. You know what I mean? And that's what's just so amazing. But this year alone, I was able to go back and see my best friend, go back to America. And then I went to a Malaysia for a competition. I went to the Maldives. Uh, I'm going to do another competition. And unfortunately, I'm not going to go back to Malaysia for a second time, but I might take a little weekend trip from here and there, depending on if cl- classes are canceled and whatnot. But I'm going back to America at the end of the year to spend my Christmas and go out in style. Next year, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Cairo, Egypt, a couple of Malaysias, a couple of Singapores, a couple of Indonesias, perhaps. It's a ridiculous year next year. And... I mean, I never would have thought I would have had this opportunity. Not in a million years, man. I mean, I always said, you know, (sighs) when I first came here, I didn't have a purpose. I didn't have anything. I wasn't on a mission. I wasn't on anything, you know. But now I got clarity in my life. And a lot of you have probably been searching for clarity for so long. And you haven't been able to find it. But you have to start asking the right questions. So, I mean, going back into the whole Malaysia thing, I was supposed to achieve the first ever trifecta in my life with the Spartan race. That basically means 5-kilometer race, 13-kilometer race, and then a 20-kilometer race. But then they decided to move the race from October into December. And I'm not going to take an, uh, almost a half a month off from work to go join a competition and then go to America December 20th. I mean, it's just too much, man. You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's not going to work, but you know what? Next year, I'll achieve it, so it's no biggie. But I still am going to be doing the next big Spartan race, which is actually in two weeks from tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Lots of pictures, lots of craziness. I don't have to travel to another country to do this. This is only about an hour and a half right uh, right away uh, in one of the most notorious places in Thailand called uh, Pattaya. Pattaya. But, um... This is just just a podcast, just to just to say, wow, Arsenio, and wow to all of you who are listening to me all around the world. And you know that I know that was a Sugar Ray song back in nineteen ninety six, nineteen ninety seven. Right when I said that, I was going to keep singing it, but I didn't know the lyrics. But anyways, getting back on track, it's just been such a fulfilling year. And, of course, I'm going to be making a New Year's podcast, you know, when I'm in the snow fields of uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, snowboarding with my best friends, uh, having some s'mores in front of a fire, going over things that we're just so utterly grateful for and, you know, going over our achievements, my best friend becoming a nurse, another one's going to become a dentist, and being able to spend time with wonderful people I love to death. That's the most wonderful part about life. I mean, a lot of us, yeah, we have a tendency of always complaining about this and that, but this is the beginning. This is the life that I've always envisioned. Just three days ago, was it three days ago? Yeah, just three days ago, I literally met someone who was in my shoes, but where I want to be in terms of finances and stuff. This guy went from being in poverty to having a Porsche into being ultra successful. And I'm like, what? How did we change? I'm trying to ask, you know, I'm asking him. I'm like, how did you do it? How did we do it? It's because we just never gave up. You know, of course, having a purpose behind everything, it is remarkable. So I sit here today. I sit here today on the Ramble of Positivity, episode 13. Giving a wonderful shout out to my tribe around the world. Being unbelievably and utterly grateful for every last one of you who are listening in, tuning in. And you could do the same thing. Now, I'm not saying create a podcast, but you could just sit there and write down your, what, what is it, your grateful list. And go over the things that you're actually really grateful for in your life. And then you're going to see change. Because the more gratitude there is... The more things you open up and the more things you welcome into your life. 
always remember that. And of course, this is a relatively short podcast, but I gotta get on my boogie. So, again, this is a massive big thank you to my tribe out there. Thank you so much for staying on board with me. And until then, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening, as usual. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.